<laughs> she's on and on. We're going to get to some real talent now. Um, she's Australia's <laughs> sweetheart and has always done our country proud. Delta Goodrum is about to do it again, representing our great nation at a very special international festival. And we're pleased to say that she joins us now live. Delta, so good to see you. Hey. How you been? No, I'm really good. I, uh, I, I mean, with that rendition, Carl. I mean, I don't know why you're not doing the performance uh, heading into this. It was, it was beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> the wind blows. Wow. Um, how, <laughs> how have you been? I mean, it's been such a full-on year, and as an entertainer, it's been tough. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely been unique. I mean, we were getting set and ready for a tour and I was uh, pulling it all together and we had to, obviously, I was extremely disappointed to move that, but we're looking forward to it being in 2022. I guess that just all these new technologies of, of doing rehearsals over Zoom and, and we were so excited for it, but um, just hunkering down at home, trying to be creative and, mm. and be able to uh, stay, stay in the heart space because so many people are going through a challenging time right now. Well, and this is what we've loved about, the only thing we've loved about lockdown is that you've um, brought back your much-loved Bunker Down mm. sessions. Um, <laughs> it's been wonderful to sort of tune in and I love that you take requests. It's been really great for all of us. Yeah, it, it, I, I definitely didn't expect that I'd be doing a season two of it. We, uh, you know, we, <laughs> we brought it back and, um, you know, write it at home, obviously, and just playing requests in the moment. I'm definitely going to ask for new themes, like what new themes every week? But every week at 6.30, just having that connection to people who, it's like having a, a concert. Yes, I'm, I, there's nothing like the real thing, being in person and being in that arena. And we get to do that next year. But this year it's like songs, songs off the cuff, different themes and it's really been silver lining of, of, of being at home and staying connected and, and bringing some love and light through music still. Um, Jazz and I saw you and your your, your very, very handsome fella um, at a dinner. It seems like it was like four years ago now, but it was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? Five months ago. Um, and and it, was a, it was actually a dinner for hair shampoo. And let's face it, you and I both got great hair, Delta. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I digress. But Christian, who was, who was the face of it, had much better. <laughs> much better, much better. Um, but, but even that face-to-face -face, um, stuff, it, it's, it's kind of hard to live without. It's, it, you really miss it. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm an extremely tactile person as it is and, and having that sort of close uh, feeling of being present with people. And, you know, I think we're all missing that. And I, I just keep thinking, well, when we're on the other side, I'm just going to be so excited to, to to be with people, to be able to perform again and, and be an artist and do what we love to do in person. There's nothing like hearing live music, you know, in the room. And mm. But for now, we're still just creating it from home and, and that's, you know, it just kind of puts more pressure on a tour or a show because you go, right, well, I've got a bit more time. That means I can <laughs> continue to, you know, what, what, what more could we do in it, you know? But we've got a very COVID-safe performance coming up, which we're, um, which I'm excited to talk about today Unreal. because it's, you know, it's, a, it's a still a stripped-back <laughs> version, but... <laughs> But let's talk about that because you're part of the Global Citizen Live Festival this year and there's some massive names, names. taking part. I think you've got like J-Lo, Ed Sheeran, Billie Eilish, that's just, you know, the weekend. There are so many names. You're going to be filming outside the iconic Sydney Opera House. Just tell us about it. Yeah. Listen, it's a, it's a huge honour to be a part of the Global Citizen family. I am inspired by them. When you speak to the team and they talk about their passions and obviously Global Citizen, the founder of the incredible Hugh Evans, who's Australian, is an inspiration and warrior of the world. Mm. And you just learn so much. If you, if you go to the website, check it out, globalcitizen.org, and you can just see how you can take action. And, and this concert is a 24-hour concert in six continents. So I'm very proud, as you know, I'm an extremely patriotic Australian, to be performing at the Opera House and to be able to, to fly the flag. I'm, I'm very, very honoured and, and it'll be an incredible uh, concert and call, call to action. How do you get your hair looking so good in lockdown? I, I, I need to get my roots done. Oh, you know, it's, like, it's just the awful. Process. It's the pro no, no, I guess you can see, I don't think I've had my roots done. I can't, I'm not a blonde. I think she rolled out of bed looking.
looking that good, Delta. <laughs> you, you ask when you're going into a global performance, you're like, well, um, so will I go straight from the lockdown straight to the... Yep, lucky I can play an instrument, I tell you that, because if I could have played an instrument, there'd be a worry about how to perform, you know? It's very, you know, kind of safe. I'm like, I love lucky, it. lucky I play. You're a great lady, Delta. Thank <laughs> you. Best of luck, and we'll all be watching. We look forward to it. Appreciate your time. Then you can Thank you both. catch Thanks Global for, Citizen Thank you Thanks for keeping us every morning, waking up with you both. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, gorgeous. Um, and that is on Nine Now, where the entire 24-hour event will be live-streamed on Sunday, the 26th of September. Delta, what a lady. Well, a huge week for the AFL. Grand final set to be held at...